Welcome back, my beauty. And for all my new subscribers, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe by pushing the big red button under the video here. Today I'm doing my Jennifer Lopez, I love you poppy, inspired makeup look. So without further ado, let's begin. I use my baby skin Maybelline baby skin primer off camera behind my face. Now I'm mixing NYX Sunbeam and my Skin Clearing Neutrogena Foundation together to get myself a nice aluminum glow type of base. And then I'm going to take Heart Candy Glow Bronzer and I'm going to apply this to my cheeks, my temples, along my hairline on the top of my forehead, and along my jawline just to give myself that nice glow. And then after I'm done that with that, I'm going to go ahead and take a damp beauty blender and I'm going to pat the product into my skin. This is going to help it look really naturally glowy and actually keep the product on my face instead of smudging it out. So this is a nice way to get the product to stay. Then I took my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Power Powder in Cocoa and I applied this to my nose to help contour my nose a little bit. And it's a matte powder and, and when you contour you want something matte. You don't want anything really with sparkles in it so that's why I chose this. And then I also applied this to the hollows of my cheeks and then along my hairline again and my jawline. And this, I'm just trying to get a little bit more definition in my jaw, but I don't want too much. She doesn't really have a huge contour going on. She really has more of a glow, and so this is just going to help me achieve that. Then taking my Real Techniques uh, Expert Face Brush, I'm just going to blend this in um, just so that everything looks really nice. And then I just took a concealer brush and I blended it in on my nose. Just so the contour is not so harsh. You want to make sure everything's nicely blended, blended, I can't talk today, <laughs> and seamless. And then I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte um, Transparent Powder and I'm going to apply that to the areas I just contoured and that's going to help my product stay in place and not shift all over my face throughout the day. And then after that I took Alme uh, Concealer in the color light to medium and I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a highlight underneath my um, underneath my eyes to bring out my cheekbones along my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin. Uh, she does have a highlight which helps to achieve that glow is to give yourself a little highlight so that's what I'm doing here. Now once again, back with the damp beauty blender, I'm going to tap, 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 tap all the products into my skin until I cannot see the products anymore and I'm achieving the look that I'm looking for. So just take your time with this. I sped this part up for you guys because I didn't want you to have to watch it for a long period of time. But um, I wanted you to get the idea just to tap the product in and work it into your skin very nicely. Now I'm taking Bare Minerals Illuminating Mineral Veal and I'm going to apply this to the areas I just highlighted. This is going to help set everything really nicely. Um, I just left it on my face for a few seconds and then I went ahead and wiped off the rest of the product really lightly with my brush. And this is really going to help get that natural look going and set your makeup. Next I'm taking my NYX medium brown eyebrow pencil and I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm using this as a lighter brown because um, her look is not so harsh. It's very nice and light in her eyebrows. Then I'm taking Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer and I'm going to prime my lid and my lower lid and this is going to help me to achieve um, creaseless eyeshadow. Now I'm taking BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 60s palette and I'm using this pale pink shadow as a primer, uh, sorry, as a base for my look. And so I'm going to pat this on my eyelid here. Now after I've applied that, I'm going to now apply this nice light pink color to warm up the look. And I'm going to apply that right over that pale pink. And then I'm going in with a gold in my crease. And J-Lo's look, J -Lo's look is very bronzy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I'm going to use a fluff brush to blend everything out nicely. Then I'm going in with a more coppery brown, bronzy color, and I'm going to use that to add definition and depth to my eye, my crease. Oh, good. And then I went back in with the light pink color and blended everything in. Now I'm just using a dark chocolate on my lower lash line, and I'm just trying to, um, 
I'm gonna, it's just smoking it out a tiny bit and adding a little bit more depth to that lash line. Now I'm using my NYX Wonder Pencil and I'm going to use this in my lower uh, waterline to open up my eyes once again. I don't want them to be dark. Then I'm using NYC Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. And I'm just going to do a thicker wing for my eye shape. I like how it looks. Hers is not as thick, but when you're doing inspirational looks, you want to apply the makeup so that it fits your features. So tweak it a little bit if you have to. Now I'm using my um, Revlon mascara and I'm just going to apply this to my lower lashes. And then here I'm just applying a nice white, shimmery white to the corners of my eyes to open them up. I'm applying now the Physicians Formula Vegas Strips to my cheekbones to give myself glow. Oh snap! <laughs> Can you see it? I do. Now I'm going back in with BH Cosmetics Special Occasion Palette and they have this really pretty peachy bronze blush and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones, uh, to the apples of my cheeks and I'm just going to pat it backwards. She doesn't really have rosy cheeks, it's, everything is really glowy. Now I'm using Rimmel's um, Exaggerate Lip Liner and this is in the East End Snob and I'm, it's a very natural color so I'm just using this to line my lips. And then I'm going in with Revlon Colorstay Ultimate in Ultimate Orchid and I really love this color. It's a purplish pink. It's kind of the Pantone color of the year. Now I'm using Sugar Violet by Revlon as a lip gloss. And that completes this look. And then I also used the BH Cosmetics Vixen. And I wanted to show you a different color. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, as much as I enjoyed making it. And until next time, bye guys.